Yeah, um... Cold showers save you money. You're not in there nearly as long. And you're not heating up the uh, water beforehand, so you save money on that end, too. Yeah, we'll go with that. All right. Well, Decoy, would you like to give a recap of the last time we played? <laughs> Because I think it would be awesome coming from you. Yeah, I, I, somebody talking. I hear a thing. I don't know if it's the TV or something in the background. Okay. Yeah, um, background. <clears throat> so, after Bun died, the rest of the group made short work of the dragon then carefully took a wing to make sure that Bun could be transported with some sort of style and as they were traveling overnight nothing was going on nothing going on and then in the morning Bun got Didn't believe that she died. Not a concern. Still thinks everybody else is just a little bit crazy. Did you mention the best uh, part? He kind of cut out there. Well, Bun, Bun just woke up, and there's and everybody's talking now. She smells differently. Yeah, you may want but, to uh, um, redo your mic, man. You're cutting in and out. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's really weird. Uh, so basically, Bun smells like a tree trampled. Uh, Bun was brought back by her goddess, the goddess of second chances, and she smells like a tree. Nice. Yeah. But not this a tree. Not just any tree. What tree? Tree. Treble's tree. Does that... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. What? She smells just like the tree that you made love to. That's what we thought. That's Why? The we had. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> because me and Decoy thought it'd be hilarious to screw with the rabbit who's <laughs> Fae Touch by giving Decoy a little Fae Touch. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> because Treble doesn't really realize it yet, so it's just a total messed up thing. Since Bun doesn't realize it either. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> I like this. Interesting development. He wanted to come back as a fairy, and I'm like, well, how about we just bring Bun back since... She follows the goddess of second chances. Maybe we'll just throw out some face stuff. And we came up with the tree idea. <laughs> I said, just be careful, decoy. I worry about trouble trying to hump you thinking it's the same tree. Um, but they made it all the way to Guled. And had a conversation with the drow there. And the drow pointed you in the direction of the closest city. And um, your little, your friend who's been traveling with you from uh, the first little out, out, outcry pick, the female drow, she has decided to join y'all and keep, keep working with y'all for the time being. Um, to kind of help you because she's, she's really curious on how all this will work out. <laughs> oh lord <laughs> who has an unstable connection oh decoy yeah um it's telling me that i need to do an update real quick i'll be right back okay i would say let's have jill stream but we all know what happens when she streams nice. whoa 
Bro, y'all don't want me to stream? Well, we wanted to roll a pair of dice within 10 minutes, yes. <laughs> exactly. No, the suspense. The suspense is real. That was a real thing. I can't remember. Did y'all leave the city already and start heading that direction? I... Did we get to a city? I remember being in a cave. Remember, y'all y'all made it to Gulad and we we're talking to that, that drow. Okay. Uh, because the female drow said she'd go with you, but I can't remember whether or not you left the city yet. I don't believe that we did. No, we did not leave the city. We were still discussing. Because there's a whole discussion going on on whether or not y'all should go to the um, which direction y'all really want. Go, whether it be via the sea or uh, by foot, and I think y'all decided foot. We said foot. Um, so I know that y'all. See, and I thought y'all had set out, but maybe we could, we stopped it like that next morning, right? I believe we did. We we stopped right when we woke up. So y'all wake up that morning. Uh, what's her name? She comes up to you and says, "Hey, you know, I'm gonna go with y'all. I really want to see this through. I'm curious myself to see whether my king survived." And um, y'all decide y'all are gonna go on first. And uh, y'all head up because I remember y'all also got a bunch of furs and stuff. Yeah, nice. Or hers. All right, so anything y'all would like to do before you take off? On the road again. Yeah, I don't have a lot of money either. No. Well, yes, not yet. Get you there. One maybe, day. Maybe y'all can just raid this whole town and take all their money, I don't know. So we had a long rest, correct? I'm assuming. Yes, yes you slept through the night, so. You got a long rest. Well, I'm good if everyone else is good. Yeah, I'm I'm good. Good. All right. I'll set off towards. Yes. Wait, which one were we going to? We're level ten now, right? Yeah, you're level like two. No, we're <laughs> four. <laughs> I'm giving him a hard time because he's trying to say y'all are level 10 now. I I'm, level, I'm level 3. No, I think he's right. I think we are level 10. No, I think, I think are, we are level 10. We're no. 4. I'm yeah, four. we're level 4. Okay. I was trying. Thanks. Appreciate it. I was trying for us too. It would be nice. That's a fast look. Uh, y'all are going to Grags, that's right. I had to pull up the map. Peter, I guess, didn't update last night. Sure. Um, she told you there was another camp that y'all could stop at if you wanted to, but I think y'all decided to go straight to Grags and not play around. Um, so by foot, it's about a three to four day journey, depending on the weather, because it's cold outside. But y'all are all bundled up now. You got plenty of furs. You got the boots with the furs, the apple bottom jeans, all that good stuff. Set now. Um, is there anything y'all want to do as you're walking? Any conversations you want to have with your drow friend? Each other? What? What? 
No, not robot. Sorry, sorry. I want to continue conversation on what it was like when she was dead. She says that I wasn't dead. There has to be something. I, I wasn't dead. You, we went through this, you were dead. No. I got knocked out. And then I woke up later. Okay, no, no. I'm behind y'all, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna hear you say, I'm like, what did you dream? Did I you guys you don't recall? I don't remember my dreams. Do you remember your dreams? Uh, I remember my last dream, yes. But if you, if you were that knocked out, surely you had to have a dream. No, not that I can recall. Oh. Well, any idea why you smell like a tree? I just want to just want to throw that out there. Do I smell like a tree? You do. Absolutely. I have to say, you smell like a really nice tree. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Bun's just gonna do that really slow panning look over to trouble. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah, don't mention it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Huh? What? So, Bun, you don't think you were dead? No. You were all insisting that I was. However, I just think that you're wrong. Yeah, no polls. We checked. Okay. So, like, like I said, either I was dead and my goddess loves me enough to resurrect me, which I'm fine with, or I was not down and nobody could figure out that I was still alive, which concerns me. Well, but I've been on the other side of this. I have been dead once or twice before. It, it, it did say we were in that state. Okay. But if I was in that state, then why would I be brought back? How was I brought back? <clears throat> we well, like, dragged you to a temple. Right, but there was magic involved. Yeah. Right. Sure, mine was dark magic, but uh, I mean, when you woke up, you were glowing. Well, I've had a pretty good rest. Or we can chalk that up to beauty sleep. If you say so. I'm just, I just look at it like this. It's going to be one of those two things. It's entirely possible that you were all just trying to mess with me. Yeah, yeah I'm going to put it that your goddess helps resurrect you, which is really cool. Yeah. It's not something that I hear about too often, so... Miller says he hasn't heard anything about it too often either, so... so. Mm -hmm. The closest thing that we have is Gotham here, and we, we made the effort to get him to a temple to have a ritual performed. I just woke up in the morning. And anyways, glad to have you back. 
Thank you. Your drow companion looks at you. Looks like I can't forget her, remember her name from life. She goes, look. You must have more to prove to your god. Otherwise, she wouldn't have brought you back. Think of this as an opportunity to show Eric that your goddess is a very nice and wonderful goddess. I mean, just think of the drow. I mean, Hoth would just eat us alive. She wouldn't care. That sounds horrible. I had her turn us into spiders. You know, I never know with her. I'm sorry. Turn you into spiders? Yeah, you know, half spider, half human. I've heard horror stories. I've never quite met one yet. Oh, I shudder at the thought, though. The rumor is she'll uh, turn them into a uh, half spider, half human if you really make it. Now, would these spiders have? Uh, control of their bodies, or would they be controlled? Well, let's put it this way. They have control. They're not necessarily uh, human, if that makes sense. They're not of human mind. They're more predatory. human either, so I don't see you much to worry about. Right, but you really haven't been. I'm talking like their humanity was taken from them. Oh, uh, well, their drought. Yeah, humanity was taken from them, so... They can't think like they once did. They act on primal instinct. It's a little different. Now imagine if you could only act on primal instinct. We wouldn't come across them That's in the cities, would we? Come across what now? Come across these spider hybrid things in, inside of the city. No. Um, maybe like the bigger cities with the priestesses. Generally they uh, become her slaves. Or slaves of the high priestesses. I, I personally don't think we'll ever. Well, I can't say we'll never see one. But where we're going, I, I don't. I don't expect to see. One. Okay, so we're just tents. Kind of, yeah. Well, everyone do not want to be a pet. Look, me neither. So I don't follow the 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 drow way. It's, uh, just don't understand. But yeah. it is what it don't is. take this the wrong way. But um, the more that I'm learning about this area, the less I have interest in staying here longer than I have to. Look, I mean, part of me wants to leave too, but I'm afraid that outsiders will see me as a threat. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe if I help y'all enough, maybe your king will let me stay. Maybe? No, I might like that. I guess we'll see how this goes. And she just kind of stops thinking, and she kind of goes off into her own little world for a little bit, thinking about how how it might be nice to escape drought life completely and work towards something on her. Can I make an insight check in case she's just trying to plant an idea into her head, or if she genuinely wants to um, leave this place? Yeah, go for it.
Um, eleven. You are having a hard time really reading her, so you really don't know. You have your reservations just because you don't know much about Drow, um, but you can't really say for sure one way or the other. Okay. Is there at least um, a specific expression I clock that she's doing, or? No, she's pretty expressionless for the most part. Um, maybe a little curiosity? You would notice the more and more she hangs out with you all and around you, the more and more curious she gets to things other than Rao life. You can tell that's about all she's known. Alright, interesting. She hasn't spent a lot of time around knowing friends. Which is also part of the reason why she was hesitant to help y'all in those first few battles. But anyways, we digress. As y'all continue to walk, she's just kind of walking out in front, kind of keeping an eye out. You know, um, kind of keep it to herself, just deep in thought. Um, I'm sure the rest of you are kind of trying to figure out Bun and kind of looking and sniffing at her. I can almost imagine um, Trouble kind of close to Bun, keep walking up next to Bun, like sniffing and backing up real quick just to kind of see if, yes, that is the tree that I know. Yeah, maybe something like that. More like he's just uh He's just curious about the smell, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't blame him. He also wouldn't be surprised if uh, Bun happened to have a late night rendezvous with the tree and that's why she smells like it. (laughs) I can see that. Treble's like, hmm, looks like Bun experienced my experience. Is the tree cheating on me? (laughs) I thought we were having babies. Oh my gosh, I can't. Uh, Anyways, as y'all are walking, um, the drow looks at y'all and says, Shh, quiet. I think there's something up ahead. Can I do a perception to see if I see anything? Sure. You see her? You're too focused on her. Um, I think you're kind of curious as to if she really sees something. You know, you still have that kind of somewhat distrust that she's being honest with everything after the last few battles where she just kind of left you. Roll percent. Yeah. Anything? Yep. Hold on. Um. Yeah, you see up ahead a couple of trolls. A couple of them ice trolls. And she looks, She kind of comes back and says, "Okay." There are two trolls up ahead. Remember, fire or poison. It's the only way. Thanks for reminding us. Now, before. Now they haven't seen us. Should we try sneaking up on them? I think that would be best. Yeah, you can. Can can y'all be sneaky, though? Jill's sneaky. Um, Grimler, your mic's kind of quiet. Now I 
That's because it's fire and acid, not fire and poison. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, I'm just joking. You know what I mean. <laughs> Ooh, look at- oh. Fire! Yeah, there you go. Good or sad? Y'all were doing okay, and then uh, Gotham kind of ruined that? Gotham was hung up on the fact that she said poison instead of acid. And tripped. Acid trip? Yeah, you took an acid trip, alright. I had an acid I'm trip. I'm, I'm tripping balls right now. <laughs> These things are pretty scary to you. Um, they do see Gotham, even though Gotham's in the back. <laughs> and they're. You hear them pointing and get really excited and start, like, talking in giant. You don't really know what they're saying, but definitely talking to me. So, with that, let's get a little fight, some experience on our hands, shall we? <laughs> Gotta get you out of level five. Level five is a good level. All right, we're two for two. Everyone's remembering to click their tokens this time. Uh, it's not going to show for me. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Oh. And I thought I ruled bad. Oh. But we want the healer to go last. Yes. Yeah, it never hurts for the cleric to go last. Maybe not dead last. last. Well, uh, let's say uh, she uh, didn't roll much better than you. I don't know if I, how I feel about that, but okay. Um. Gotham was actually up first. Did it put mine in there? Oh, no. I guess you're up first. Never mind. Alright, fine then. Jill is up first. Alright, how far are they from uh, for me? Are they, are they on the other side of the river? Oh, no, no. They're about, 40, they're about 45 feet. You're good, Treble. No problem. Okay, can I move 20 feet? And I'm going to use my short bow. Actually, I'm going to rage first. That way, if they shoot something at me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rage first. Question, how are you raging? Oh, just kidding, not raging. I'm using my short bow. Never mind. You are not a barbarian. I know hey. you wanted to be, but... I had it in my mind since tonight. I don't know why. Does a 12 hit? Negative goes to Ryder. Well, fine. I didn't want to give you four damage anyways. That's my turn. You hit the tree in the center. Sails over their head. Got them. You're up. Um, am I still the only one they noticed? Or did I still see the open? What'd you say? You kind of cut out. Am I the only one that makes you, or do they see Jill also? Oh no, they know Jill's here now, too. Are oh, they still rushing towards me? Well, they haven't moved yet. They're pointing at you, though. Okay. I'm gonna try something. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, hopefully this doesn't fail. I'm gonna try to use a um, skill that I haven't used um, and I'm going to do it using a spell I have. I'm going to use a second level Ultra Cell. <coughs> and this is a <coughs> concentration spell. Where I assume a different form. Um, and there's one where I can uh, grow natural weapons like claws, fangs, spines, and horns. 
I want to try to intimidate these trolls or whatever by sort of having the more metal parts of my body sort of jut out in, in spines and horns and claws and fangs. Um, basically look like something they wouldn't want to grab or put in their mouth or, or to touch at all. Okay. You're like, don't touch me. Right. Um, so, I think that just happens with all this stuff, so that, that would be my action. Um, I, okay. I will have to be concentrating on that. Um, and I'm, I'm just trying to intimidate them with this as I walk towards them using um, 15, 15 people. Uh, right would I roll on intimidation? You would. That's an 11. Yeah, also, if you're making it like the natural weapons, um, you get plus one tier. Damn it. Let's keep that in mind. Yeah, uh, they should be. Uh, D6 on bludgeoning, piercing, or slashing, and a plus one, and it counts as magic. Yep. Um, uh, but 11 will not quite do it. Okay. Um, then I will just stay where I am, and I also have my... Hey. Let me check if I can still cast using my bunch of magic. I don't think, think so, so, though. Hmm, uh, do you know if I would- no, because I just cast it at second level. I, I wouldn't be able to cast darkness. Yeah, that's yeah. different. Okay. Rebel. Okay. Um, we're going to move over here. And shoot. Which one are you shooting? The one on the right or the left? The one on the right. Yeah, that'll definitely hit, of course. And then we're going to add dreadful strikes to that. Oh no, here it comes! That point of damage! Two damage. Two more damage. Hey, I mean, every little bit counts. Um, and then I'm also going to put a hunter's mark on him for five damage. Okie dokie. It's a nice little output there. Almost 20 damage for a bump. Anything else good, sir? Um... No, that's it. Bun, 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 bun. Hey, bun, they're on the ground. Okay. Yay, Bun can fight this time. Yeah. If she could get up to him, but she can't, so... Uh, and then I'm going to hold my action, my uh, attack, for when one comes close enough. Fair enough. Alright, next is going to be this one. And it's going to say hi to Jill. <laughs> hi, little rabbit, or little raccoon. Well, hello, big ugly thing. It's going to bite you and try to claw you a couple times. Rude. What's your AC? A 19. Okay, so only one is going to hit, and I rolled a 16, 26, and a 12. Aww. I know. So one of the claws will catch you. Really? I rolled two ones? Well, you hit up for one damage! No, I mean, it's six total, but still. Oh, man. I rolled the minimum amount of damage on 2d6. Uh, so you got off pretty easily. Uh, next up is the drow friend. 
what's the total? Just six. Six, okay. She is actually going to cast Fairy Fire. On the one in front of Jill. Taking damage. So, the one in front of Jill, anyone who attacks will have advantage on. The time be it. Grimler. Well, that makes things interesting. So, I am going to cast Guiding Bolt at second level. And it would be this plus seven. Would an 18 hit? Yeah, which one are you attacking? Uh, the one in front of Joe. And it, since it's a damage, you might as well go for, uh, uh yep. closer. Close. Yeah, they still hit. Uh, and then it'll be five piece. Good lord. What is that, lightning damage? Radiant. 17 radiant damage. That's a big chunk, man. Y'all are doing a lot of damage output for level four. And that will end my turn. Okay. Last but not least, big ugly in front of Bun. So Bun, go ahead and take your action because it's walking right up to you. I don't think an 11 hit. No, ouch. That was not good. And it just kind of looks at you and squeals. You see it drooling. Uh, what's your AC? I rolled a 10 and 19. 20. Okay, I rolled a 10, 22, and 22. Yeah, two of those hit. Uh, so 21 slashing as he rakes you across the chest with his claws. And we're back to Jill. Have advantage. I was muted the whole time. Yeah, it's great. I love it. Okay. I'm muted. Alright, oh. so. Yuck. That was with advantage, too. Yeah. It's getting ah. Yuck. Uh oh, at least you got one hit. Seven. Better than nothing. Better than nothing, I guess. Dang. Daddy's mutton. Got them. Um, I'm gonna try the Chaos Bolt at second level. I feel like I've said that more times than, than not. Um, so that's what I've been on, on the one that's in front of you. Yes. Yes, indeed. Go ahead and roll that again. Yeah, that's gonna hit either way. Cool. Um, it likes you today. It does. I got my bad ones out the way. Alright. Uh, 15 damage in total. Let me check if, what kind of damage that is. So that would be either thunder or cold damage. I'm gonna go with thunder damage. Smart choice. And then I'm going to. Never mind, I'm not going to be back with this one. That's it for me. Treble. Alright, Treble's going to fire an arrow. Same one. Dang, Treble with the high rolls. Come on now. I see you, Treble. <laughs> And that is it. Jeez. All right, Bun. Redemption. 
Yes, come on. But how are you? Um, go ahead and give me a um, strength check. See if you hold on to that weapon there. Just barely. You definitely fumble it for a second as you swing. You go to swing really, really hard and just like overdone. Do it. You almost, you almost turn a circle and land on your butt and drop your sword at the same time, but you catch it. And she yells out, "Careful! There's a patch of ice right here." <laughs> and the thing looks at you confused. Why are you even talking? Alrighty, next up is going to be the Big Ugly again by Jill. And since Jill's the only one here, an 11, that'll miss. A 23, Jill? Yeah. Unfortunately, a net 20 will also. No, yeah. Alright, so you'll, ooh, that's not good. Uh, 12 slashing on the first hit. And 16 slashing on the nat 20. Okay, and I need a wisdom save from him. Ooh. I'm gonna rebuke the violet. Okay. I would be surprised if I pass this. 15. And you do, so you... Take a uh, half of that net twenty roll. So okay, eight. Yeah. yeah, they have terrible wisdom. I'm surprised. I got lucky on that. Um, seeing how Jill just took like a beating and looks kind of bloody, but drow, she's gonna run up and do her stuff to to the uh. Control. She's gonna stab stab twice. Ooh. One is gonna miss, the other will hit. I swear I, I roll better with the bad guys than the NPCs I create to look down. Crazy. Uh Grimler. I'm gonna run up behind Jill, like directly behind her, and I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds. Ooh, you just touched Jill. I don't understand why. I rolled it to hit and damage, which doesn't make sense. So, because technically it, she takes nine healing damage. <laughs> the way the spells are in this body. Well, it says 1d8 plus... Eh, I guess that works. 1d8 plus my spell casting, which is 7. Uh, so it'd be 11 then, because um, it's showing plus 5, so... Jill, you get 11 help. Thank you! Yeah. Probably much needed, too. Yeah, I was down by eight. Uh, the next big ugly is going to look at one again. Oh my gosh. Uh, nat 20, a 26, and a 21. Yeah, those okay. gonna look crazy but that's because I'm rolling all the damage at once. Oh uh, you might want to break it out. That's piercing and slashing. Yeah, up and down. Um but yeah it'd be 36 total because of the nat 20. 
Well, and, and that's why I was going to have you split it out because I only had 12 hit points left. I mean, I can. Uh, well, well, there's the that's first. That's my question is, would he have still hit yeah, would he have still hit me after that? Because that would have taken a death save. Oh, yeah, that's why I just roll it all in one chunk like that, so that it doesn't do that. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, actually... I see what you're saying. So, okay, I'll do it separately. So the first one is 9 damage, and that 20 is only 9 damage. Okay, so I'm still alive. So the second hit is going to be 10 damage. And that puts you there. So he would probably see you down and start moving towards someone else. In the world, I don't ever pick on Treble, so I'm going to have him uh, chase after Treble. Treble will probably run and get away, but oh well. Um, next up is Jill. It's like, I'm hungry. Y'all are a bunch of animals. I'm gonna eat all of you. I'm surprised you can form that, ma that many words. I'm gonna look at it and tell it. They didn't really say that because it's speaking in giant. Words. Oh, yeah, okay. That's just me saying, oh, y'all are all animals. Mm-hmm. Also, Treble hardly ever gets hit, so... Yeah. Because, uh, Treble's just a little rabbit, man. He can't take hits. It's a little rabbit. <laughs> rabbit is doing damage. Um, Jill, what's up? What you gonna do? Oh. Okay, I am going to look at it. The one in front of me. Still have advantage and too, because it's still lit up. Ooh, okay, love it. Oh shoot, I didn't even give myself advantage when I used it with the drow. I got a four game. Okay. Why? And then six damage. At least they both hit this time. Yeah, boom, take that. I mean, I might not do as much damage as somebody else, but I work on that. You're also the tank sitting there taking all the hits while they're doing all the damage output, like pissing it off. True. And dealing 10 damage. I'll take it. I'll take it. There. Got them. Um, Chaos Bolt, second level. Uh, big fat one in front of Jill. Okay, you got advantage. And that would be a mm, dirty 20 to hit. Yeah, either of those are gonna hit. <laughs> Alright, um, that's 2d8 and 2d6. And he jumps! Um, so I'll make a jump to the other guy, but I'll roll back later. How far that's 20. Um, up to 30 feet, which I counted, and that's about like 28 to 30 feet. Uh, the other one's 40 feet from it. 40 feet? Yeah. Uh, that's unfortunate. Um, it jumps to a tree. Those poor trees. Um, so that's 20 damage, but what kind of damage is it? Um, since they're both sixes, I hope it's not cold. Um... That would be poison damage. Better than cold damage. Not what you needed, but still better than cold damage. Oh, Man, it um, we yeah. just put fire again, don't we? Yeah, we're asking. And none of us have that ability. Not magically, no. I have to re rely on RNG for that ability. Oh, that's um, a lot of damage. Yeah, that's fair for me. Rebel, you see this ugly thing barreling at you. 
he's like, how far can I go? Yeah, let me see. Jump over it. I'm going to use my bonus action to rabbit hop here, and then I'm going to use my action to hide. This is exactly why we can't get in trouble. <laughs> oh, God. You think you're hidden? Yeah, that's great. As you try to hide, you get that sweet, sweet smell of tree. Yep, yep. This is not the right tree, though. <laughs> oh gosh, Bun, you're up. Oh, Bun. Yeah, there you go. One success. Yes, sir. Alright, next up is Ugly. Um, it's going to try to attack your drow friend. Jill a little break since someone else is here. Oh, well, one of those is gonna hit. That hurts. Oh, she barely keeps her fairy fire up. Oh, uh, and then she is going to attack it. Let's see if she can maybe put it on the ground. Hey, those both hit. So it falls over. Grimler, you are up as the troll hits the ground. She looks at you and goes, Do you have fire? Set it ablaze! And I look around, does anyone know how to start a fire? <laughs> I don't have either, damn it. Good. I don't have... Or what is it? Fire and what? Yeah, yeah. I don't have either one of those things. It doesn't have to be a spell, wink wink. I don't have I don't have items that can create fire either. I don't just carry around bottles of acid with me. Seriously. I mean who doesn't carry around a flint block? I mean jeez. I don't have I don't even I don't have a tinder but I don't have anything that can create fire. Dang! I have a candle. Unless it's a self-lighting candle, I don't know how I'm going to make it work. When you made the character, did you choose the priest path? Uh, I don't think I chose the priest one, but I dropped the tinder box and, sh and a bunch of shit for weight. Oh, that's your fault. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to help. I love the response. Well, that sorry, that's just your own fault. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna cast guiding bolt at second level at the one that's chasing trouble. I guess. So whatever this is, plus seven, uh, thirteen hit. No, it does not. Oh, wait. Bun's down, right? Yes. I'm a fucking idiot. Can I use healing word? As a bonus action, but if you like. Bun did pass, too, by the way. So. Yeah. Play, play how you'd like. 
I'm not saying not to heal, but I'm just saying, you know. Well, I'm gonna use... He's saying he wants to kill Bun again, don't listen in. That is not what I said. That's we don't need saying. one fucking we're liars! Read between the lines! <laughs> Whoa, hold on now. Don't be putting words in my mouth. <laughs> Look, I, I about cried when I insta-killed Bun, okay? Don't worry, you're not a tree, I won't put anything in your mouth. So I'm gonna do a healing oh, one. Dang. Oh. oh my gosh, I can't. <laughs> Sorry. Healing word at second level, so whatever this plus another four. So nine HP to the bun. Okay. And that will end my turn. And I'm also at second level spell slots. Yay. All right, well then, that brings us to the other big ugly who's chasing around Bun. Er, Grebel, sorry. Who still can't quite get to trouble. Um, Jill, you're up. Hey, well, just gonna punchy punch because I don't have any other way to kill these guys. Guess what, advantage? Yes. Luckily, yeah. she, she held her yeah. concentration. Does a 15 hit? Uh, yes. I mean, okay, the thing that. is laying on the ground, too. Oh, sweet. Okay. Yeah. Take that. I'm kicking him in the face now. Well, after I'm... Whoa! I... Of all the times we're on that 20, that's 10 dead. When it's down and it doesn't matter. Yeah, with my hand axe. Until he gets up, I'm gonna put, um, and then after that, I'm gonna take and put both my hand axes up. So next time I hit it, I'm gonna start uh, curb stomping him. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's my turn. Alrighty, next up is going to be Gotham. Um. So one that's in front of Jill, that's down, but it needs fire to kill it, right? Yes. Or acid. And, and, and none of those two have a tinder box. Evidently not. Well, I don't know if one. Jill does or not. I don't think she looked. What? They should have acquired one at the last town, but um, I'm gonna run up to that one and use my tinder box to try to light it on fire. Okay, go for it. Is that the... Do you have enough speed to get there? Um, I was... Yeah, it's just 20 feet. Um... What role would that be? It's not. It's a free, It's an action, it just takes your action to light the thunder box. Okay, yeah, but I do. Si yeah, since he's on the ground, I'm not gonna... It's not gonna be any other. Cool. Um, for flavor, would I be able to use the oil flask I have, oil flask I have in my chest, and kind of use that and the tinderbox to light it on fire? Sure. Cool. I do that. Um, and does it die? Yeah, it's it's dead. It goes up in a pile of smoke. And the drow looks at you and says, "You learned well, finally." Um. Yeah. The poison didn't work. No, it won't, but, uh, good job. One less to go. And then I'm going to... I really don't need darkness. I'm going to use three sorcery points to get back a second level spell slot. Okay. Easy enough. That's it for me. Travel. This thing gets a little closer this time as you're trying to hide. You're sitting there shaking and realize, wait, it sees me. Yeah, yeah. So I am going to uh, use my action to start a fire on this tree. In fact, I actually have a torch. Um, so I'm going to light the torch in one hand and then... Uh, 
and then light the tree on fire. Oh my gosh, you're lighting the tree on fire? Yes, there is a troll coming after me. Okay. Whatever will your tree say when she finds out? Listen, I'm only hot for one tree just because I'm setting this one on fire. It's not me. Watch out, bun. You smell like a tree. So, yeah. So, so you catch the tree on fire. Mm -hmm. And then, uh... I'm gonna just move behind it like this, and hopefully it goes away. <laughs> okay, um, you realize that tree's on fire, right? You're pretty close to it. Yeah, but I'm not like in it, you know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> fun. You're up, Grimler. I can't with you. I see that meme. Got a gif in there. Let's go. <laughs> Mary Catherine French in a tree. Yeah. That's perfect. Super sorry. And that's Gr that's Grimler the nun in the back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um Bun is going to stand up, look around. going I'm not down yet then she's gonna move a little closer but as she does why didn't it roll it did not roll why does it say there's a save there's not a save for that spell hold on did I enter it in wrong No. Maybe at this specific situation. Later. Uh, yeah, that's weird. It shouldn't have been. It doesn't have a save. Uh, it doesn't so does it does a sixteen hit. Yeah. So it takes four points of, of uh, force damage. Do you want to describe what's happening? Because I think everyone's going to be a little surprised at this. As the gun starts to stop, or sort of the air, you cut now. A shot just comes from her chest, and just a beam of white light just shoots right at this troll. Did you say from your chest, like a Care Bear? <laughs> Why do you gotta do the man like that? Why do you gotta say like a Care Bear? Bun fires this white light like a Care Bear. From the chest. She's got the whole there. Your mics. Yeah, your mics. Your mic's doing that thing again, man. Why? We've not played what you're saying. All I caught was white light coming out of your chest. Discord's messing with you. <laughs> yeah, exactly like Grimler said. Care Bears! How does that specific gift look like you're thinking of collected piss? Collected <laughs> piss! My turn! Lean back, boys, golden arches! Uh, no. Um, next up is your drow friend. Who's gonna move up and cast Fairy Fire on this one, so now y'all have advantage. Grimler, you're up. Oh. 
I'm just gonna move up to in between what's that button and Gotham. And then or button in the drow to the drow, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna move up there and end my turn. You're gonna end your turn? Yeah. Oh, actually, no, I have a crossbow. What am I doing? I'm gonna take a shot with my crossbow. Okay, go for it. Yeah, that'll hit. Six minutes, and then I'll end my turn. Alright, so it sees the fire and says, nope. And it starts heading back that way. Uh, chill. Okay, uh, there's one left, right? Um. Yep. It's heading back towards y'all because it said no to the bunny who just set a tree on fire. Oh, it doesn't want to go over there and play. Okay. Uh, let's. Hold on, let me see something. Nope, it does not like fire. I can't see any, like, any equipment, at, per se, like, tinderbox or anything, starting equipment that I would have. So I don't think I have anything to start a fire. <coughs> um, can you move me my 30 feet? Move 30 feet. To it, yeah. I was gonna see if I can distract, distract them while somebody else can light the, get another fire going, maybe. Maybe. Uh, but you, you're like everyone's like converging on this thing right now. <clears throat> I mean, I don't have anything else I could do. I, I could shoot it, but what's what's that gonna do? A fire is the only thing that kills it, or acid. I don't have either way to get one of those. It still has to be low on health. I mean, fire doesn't kill it unless it doesn't have any HP. Am I um, within five feet of it, though? No. Oh. What, how far am I? Y'all are about 10 feet from it. Well, you're about you're about 15 feet. Everyone else is about 10 feet. So would my short bow get dis uh, disadvantage? No, because you're not within melee. Wait. Is a 15 hit? Uh, yes. 15 just hits. Nine damage. That's my turn. No, 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 I don't remember if there was a bottle of there. You gave him ale? I don't remember that. Okay, so I probably still. I don't know. I'll re listen to that episode and then let you know. Um, I'm gonna cast a second level chaos pool. Uh, that's the only one. This wouldn't be with advantage, would it? Yes, this one has fairy fire. This one does? Okay. Yep, the drought couldn't get to it, so it has. Nice, it's not in that one. Luckily, that's your second roll, anyways, so even if you didn't have advantage. True, okay. Um, yeah, I guess. I guess, okay. Um, I move up 5, 10, 15. Do you know if, would I be able to tell who this, um, you said it was a troll? Yes, it's a troll. Who is it I'm looking at to, like, attack them? Well, it's running away from them. Not really, I mean, it's looking at all four, really, because they're from the front. Um, it just saw trouble, let the, let the tree on fire, and it said, Hell no, I'm going the other way. Okay, um... 
as a bonus action, I'm able to change what uh, my appearance is with my spell. Um, let me think. Alter self, yes. As a bonus action, I can assume a different um, appearance. Could I change my appearance? To try to intimidate him one more time, but instead of looking all, all spiky and stuff, um, I look like I'm on fire. As I'm walking toward him. Uh, go for it. Hopefully this intimidates him. That's, uh, 22. 22. Yeah. Um, definitely. Okay, so, with the shot that I missed with, I tried to grab his attention, and then as I'm walking towards him, I, um, speak an incantation to myself, and I, my appearance changes from this spiny, spiky, metal person to one that's walking towards him on fire. Okay. That's it for me. Sounds good to me. Uh, next up is going to be Treble. Alright, Treble is going to take out one of his carrots, which by now I'm sure are quite dry, and light it on fire. And then he is going to pop out from behind this tree and shoot it at this troll. You're going to shoot a carrot? Yes. Um, okay. A fire carrot. What would you like me to roll? Uh, how are you shooting? Like, are you attacking? Oh, he's lighting... Yes, so he's a, so he's lighting the carrot on fire and then attaching it to the to the end of an arrow. You can let the least. arrow on fire, but I kind of like the carrot idea. Yeah, just roll your. Uh, roll I mean, carrot. I want you to really think about it. If you were treble and you had dried carrots. Oh yes, I can see. It. Yeah, I completely yeah, I mean. understand carrot. Treble is crazy. <laughs> uh, just roll your bow attack normally and uh, roll your damage. Hits. Uh, roll a d6. Uh, so that's the d6 you told me to roll. This is the hunter's mark, and this is the uh, dreadful strikes. Oh my gosh, I love how it's all ones. Okay. So it's going to take four fire damage on top of your 11 damage that you need. Mm -hmm. Well then. Nice. It is not happy. It is like swatting at itself, trying to get this arrow out. Um, fun, you're up. Back away. Golly. Thirteen. Yeah, thirteen's gonna miss. That's everything she can do. Alright, let's see if our drow frame can do something here. Yes, okay. Okay. More attack. Okay, yeah. There you go. That'll help y'all. Uh, Grimler, you're next. Um. Hey, you said we do have a vanish, correct? Yes. So Alright, oh, I'm just gonna walk up into its face. I'm gonna swing the warhammer. 
Oh my goodness. That's gonna miss. Good thing I get advantage. Yes, that will hit. Four damage. And... Fun, how much HP do you have? Nine. Give Fun... Um, what is that? A healing word. First level. How would, uh, sorry, how would that be five uh, or four damage when you have a plus five to your Warhammer? I don't it's know. Plus five to hit, not plus five. Oh, okay. damage. Yeah, he has plus three damage. He rolled one. Because it's a, it's a D8 plus his strength. Okay, thanks. What happened to this one? My thing kind of broke. Give me a second. So what was, uh... Healing word first level? Well, okay. Yeah. Uh, healing word, uh, what level did you cast it? It's only gonna be level one, so 1d4 plus four. Did it come through? It didn't come through on my screen. Uh, it came through yeah. as three. Okay. Uh, I guess it's more than what we had. Every little bit helps. Yes. Alright. Next up is its turn. It's going to take a swipe at each of y'all that are in front of it. So, Bun... Well, no, actually, no. Grimler's not right there, so... It's gonna swipe at Bun and at your drow friend. This one's for Bun, 21. It's whopping six damage. Uh, and it's gonna completely miss y'all's drow friend. Did the intimidation do anything? Uh, it hasn't moved any, so you're not 100% sure. Okay. Uh, next up is Jill. She had to jump in the shot. Let's see what happens. Well, so she's going to do the same thing. She's going to swing her little axis around. Well, the second will hit just barely. Should do it again. Shouldn't that be in with advantage? Yeah, that was with advantage. Ooh, that was close. All right, got them. You're up. Um. Now that I see that he is scared of me, I'm going to try to walk up to it, um, using 25 feet of movement to blanket him from behind, um, and I'm going to cast Inflict Wounds. It's going to look as if I'm, I'm touching him with the fire that's around my, my body, body, but I'm actually just casting Inflict Wounds. Wait, you're casting what? Uh, inflict wounds. Oh, okay. But it looks like I'm touching it with, with fire. Okay. Um, that will be a 9 plus 6, 15 to hit. 15 just hits. Nice. Um, that is inflict wounds 3. That's 2 times the max one. Um, nine damage of necrotic. Yeah, necrotic damage. So he falls over. Alright, um, 
Yeah, that's that's it. All right, Treble. Uh, Treble is going to come up to him and burn him with his torch. All right. Treble walks up, throws his torch down on this thing, sets it ablaze. And we so I can't believe he made me waste a carrot. A precious carrot. <laughs> what an asshole. Well, no one said trolls weren't now. I would have to agree with you on that. They are. You are such a curious little fella. She's like, looks at you and says, I'm going to have to definitely keep an eye on you. Right. What would y'all like to do? Y'all ready to just carry on? Carry on my wayward son. Y'all are on it with the gifts uh, today. Oh my gosh. Well, the uh, what time of day is it? Uh, y'all been traveling for a few hours, so it's probably midday. And maybe we can take a short rest. Yeah, I mean, you can always take a short rest. We've got a little. Fire here at the prison. <laughs> yeah, you set the tree on fire. So I guess you would. Cut the tree out if I need if we need to instantly. I mean it, it's not gonna really go too far just because uh it is um, snowing out. Well, it's not really snowing, but it is wet. Okay. It's not like you're going to start a fair forest fire. I'll be right back real quick. You're all good. So, yeah, I can here. It happens far often. The robot. I am a robot. I have no idea why it's doing that. We're back to normal. It's Discord. You know, Discord doesn't. Discord it likes to pick on people at times. It's it's really ridiculous. So. Uh, yeah, I just need an hour here for short rest, and then we'll go on, unless somebody wants to go on now. No, y'all can take a short rest. Yeah, I don't need a short rest. I'll keep watch while you rest. Easy enough. Yeah, anyone who wants to take a short rest can take a short rest. I should roll some dice for her too. Beans. Ooh, you yeah. one on one? That's no fun. 
Oh, I probably should roll for Jill too. Watch, I'm gonna roll really bad for her. Ah, not too bad. Gets her close to full health. All right, so y'all take a short rest. Grimler keeps watch. Nothing really happens. Um, y'all can continue on your way. Uh, it starts to kind of lightly snow. And you see the fire is starting to go out. As you continue your march towards city of choice the rest of the get day goes by without a hitch uh, and yeah. she looks at y'all and starts looking for a nice place to lay down for the night anyone wants to do a survival check to find a good spot uh, y'all still have that dragon wing so you can make some kind of a uh, a tent or something out of it. Doesn't that find this well? Yeah, y'all are able to find a nice tree um, if you want to attach the dragon wing kind of to it and create a little He's big enough to definitely can get that done. That roll. So y'all and hopefully. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Hopefully people will see the wing and stay away. That is very true. Very good point there. Um so there you go. Um, Bunner staying away from the wing? No, Bun said that people should see the wing and stay away. Like, no one would want to attack a dragon wing. Like, it oh, looks okay. like a dragon could be laying there, maybe. I was going to say, if Bun starts having a version to a wing, something happen to or something. <laughs> yeah, if Bun starts uh, having issues with dragon wings that she took out, then yeah. I'll definitely have some issues ahead. <laughs> All right. Anything y'all want to discuss, talk about throughout the night before y'all rest for the evening? Mm-hmm. No. Fun is just gonna suggest that she's gonna take the last watch. So she can be up early anyway, and then unless there's an objection, she's just gonna lay down real quick. I'll take first watch. Okay. Um. So, uh, who wants? I'll, I'll take a second. Um, I did want to bring up to the group. Um, would it be viable to start traveling with torches if these things want to stay away from them, or, or would it draw attention? Do you want torches? I can give you torches. I think I've got a couple, but should we be carrying these in our hands as we travel towards wherever it is we go? It, it might make sense to everybody to at least have a torch and a way to light it. That's, that sounds like a good idea. Um, if, well, how, how would they be able to light it? I have a tinderbox. 
would we be able to with, uh, with how many I think two of us don't have access to a tender person fire or anything. In, okay, so Fung will take out her tinder box and just offer it up to whoever wants it. Okay, because I'm going to be up on it anyway. That'll give somebody else a chance to light a torch and use that. Definitely understand the concern. Um, so I don't see why that'd be an issue. Um, as long as one of y'all have fire, you'd be alright. Problem is, if one person has fire and that person goes down, then that can be Yeah, and things would see fire and maybe attack us. Possibly. Yeah, that's fine. On me as well. Because it seemed that Cole did not. would want to walk away from fire at any possible moment, so. I don't know if they'd want to stay away or keep a distance. Ah, oh, good point. You never know. I mean, they're not the smartest things, though. So I guess it just might depend. Well, um, if I ever go down, uh, just you can probably just move my pockets and take out a, a my tinder box if you ever need to, and I'll, I'll show everyone like sort of the chest that in the chest that I have, I'll put it at the very top. Do what? You cut out. Um, I, I'm gonna be leaving my uh, tinder box in my chest uh, at the very top. So if they ever need um, a tinder box while I'm unconscious, they'll be able to grab it real quick. Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. Didn't know you could do that. Oh, now my act. I, I carry around a chest. I could do that though. Still, it's awesome. All right, so y'all are able to take a long rest and uh, sleep through the night. Wake up the next morning, refreshed, ready to go. Anything y'all want to do before you set out? No, no. Bun's gonna go through her daily prayers before everybody else gets up. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, okay. Anything else? I'm good. Okay. So y'all set, set forth? For the second day um everything goes well the second day y'all don't have any issues as you travel um everything goes smoothly it's starting to snow so it's going a little slower than um what you would expect but everything's still going well second day comes to an end you make it through the second day and you wake up the, next, the third day and she looks at y'all and says okay we should be reaching reaching the city by the end of the day. We need a game plan before we go into the city. There you all slots. Oh yes, because bug bears are slaves. I do have 
manacles on my inventory. Yes, we want to pretend that uh, we've captured you. I can also change my appearance to make it look like I'm a drow. And she looks at y'all and says, yes, and I'm a drow as well, so that's two. Can anyone else disguise themselves? Um, I think we can maybe hide Treble. I don't know about Jill. Did, did we say Jill was a medium creature or a small creature? Say that again? What about small creature? Uh, was Jill a medium creature or a small one? Jill's medium. Okay. I don't think we'd be able to hide Jill or a grill. Uh, probably not necessarily. Uh, she looks at y'all and says, well, we could act as if they're your, they're slaves, but the only problem with that is as soon as we walk into town, the rest of the drow are going to come and pick them up and take them to captivity. Then we're going to have to break them out. Are there um, uniforms or something of the guards that uh, take people to these prisons? I mean, they don't really have uniforms. We're drow. We're not in the army or anything. Would we be able to act as the people taking them to the prisons, or would we be found out? Problem is, I don't know where they keep prisoners. You don't know where they keep prisoners, and if we go into the wrong building, they might be suspicious. So what if we um, do like a scope out, right? If we scope the camp or whatever. I mean, a couple of us might be able to walk in and do that, but then my only concern would be that if we walk out, then they're going to wonder where we're going. No, I mean, like, we set outside, get the get the routine for a day, get, like, what they do with come and go if they come out of the town. If they don't, then at nighttime, two, of a, two or three of us could go in and try to sneak around to see if we could see anything. You could go at night. That might be a better idea. Um, there'll still be drought out and about, but at least there'll be only a few patrol. They'd be easier to deal with than a whole army worth. Yeah, that was what I was thinking. What's the rest of y'all think? Fun, Grimler? I think I don't want to be a slave. Well, then we won't do that idea then. I just... I don't want Fun to become a slave either. Oh, you were part of that slave list, Grimler. Oh. You know, most drows don't like uh, dwarves unless you're a gray dwarf. And even then, we st most drows still don't like dwarves. So you would be on that list, too. Really, the only one who could probably get away with it is your friend got them here who could disguise himself. Well, then I suggest we do a different plan. Because unless Gotham goes in on reconnaissance, by himself, which could end up best anyways. Well, I would go with him, but uh, I think uh, your Azabon friend may be on to something. I think we try to hit him up at night. We try. As long as everyone is somewhat quiet and we don't raise too many alarms and sneak around, we might be able to catch a few of them off guard, take them out silently. I don't sneak very well. Well. Yeah, that's true, too. I know not everyone can sneak well, but 
as long as it's not like we're just running around town. We might we might be all right to go. I think Knight would still be our best friend. Either way, it's dangerous. Either way, we're going to run into problems. Then let's wait until night. And in the meantime, let's see if we can think of any other options. That is fair. We will get there around nighttime. Well, right before nighttime. So it'd be wise to camp maybe an hour or so outside of town. And that way, uh, we can go into town at the night time. Sounds good to me. That would be my suggestion. But like I said, I'm, I'm just here following y'all. Uh, trying to help out where I can. This is y'all's mission, not mine. Traveling with our friends here, were we able to figure out how long the drought takes to sleep? Like, do you do the four hours like an elf, or is it longer than? Did you ever ask her how she slept? Well, did we ever notice during our uh, sort of uh, when we're doing lookout at night? I don't think anyone was really paying attention. Okay. Rebel, you got any thoughts? Um, I don't know exactly what's going on, to be honest. I'm making dinner, so I'm in oh. it. I'm just talking in about, gotcha, strategy on going into the drought town. Um, whether or not to take take and act like some of y'all are slaves, or to go in at night and stay out. I'll be bun slave. <laughs> Treble's new theme song. I'm, uh... Slave for you. <laughs> um, no, I, I don't have any ideas though. That sounds fine to me. Um, but also, I gotta go check on the food. Okay, well, you got time? Go check on your food, man. <laughs> All right, so y'all head off towards the city. Um, what are y'all doing as you're walking? Is there anything special anyone wants to do? Any conversations you want to have with the drow or each other? Bun is just going to be concentrating on how not to become a slave. Trying to think deep thoughts. That's fair. Grimler, anyone? Or are y'all just walking in silence? Yeah, kind of ready to get. I don't. I just don't want to be thinking if we go in, just be caught. Fair enough. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask our uh, drow friend. Uh, how long do you usually sleep for? If we're gonna try to do this again. Well. Uh, to tell you the truth, the drow don't really sleep a whole lot. Uh, we don't really sleep at all. We just go kind of into a trance. Okay, and very short periods. What about fire? I noticed when fire was on drow as effectively as it does on coal. Okay, then again, you kind of cut in and out. Is it doing the same thing as as uh, buns might? Uh, no. Okay. Um, I said, would fire work on Drow the same way it does on trolls? She looks at you and says, no. We're not, we're not uh, immune to it by any means, but it's not something that would take us out. We just prefer the dark. So, would I the best time to Oh, I mean, it stays dark most of the time. Here, it's very cloudy. Uh, so, some drow are active, dude. 
I've never been to this city, so I'm not 100% sure. Maybe we can run, maybe we'll run into a scout party on the way there and we can find out. If we were able to make a source of artificial light big enough, would we be able to ward off some of the ground? Right no. I mean, it's not going to scare them. So, the way drow work is we see better in the dark. We can see in the sun. Uh, however, our vision is not as good in the sun as it would be in the dark. Imagine having infrared vision or something like that where things are shiny. We, he we see heat in the dark. It's kind of hard to see heat when there's a light source. Okay, so it'll only partially blind me. Yeah, it's more like we're more uh, light sensitive than we are in actually hurting us. Okay. It's kind of hard to explain, but I hope you kind of get it. So it all depends on how this city is set up. I'm, there's always going to be activity in any drow city at all times. Just is it daytime, nighttime? That's the busiest. Like I said, maybe we can get a patrol. If uh, I do, uh, who is the quietest of us? Who? This is, this is going to be hard to explain. Um, I don't, I can sort of shape shift, but if we don't want to do that, I still, I do have an invisibility. So we can make somebody invisible, but uh, I wouldn't be a drow if that was the case. And she looks at y'all and says, well, from my short experience with y'all, it seems like your rabbit and Ozabon friend are the quietest of the group. Uh, Bun seems to be quiet most of the time. Just quite surprising for a bugbear. Quite impressive. Um, here's my idea. If Bun's able to figure out a way to get into the city without being a slave, Travel and probably hide somewhere in our group. I could probably make Jill invisible, but that just leaves Grimble. Hmm. Thinks about that for a little bit and, like, really? Only problem with invisibility is you may not be able to be seen, but any noise you make hurts them. You might be better off becoming uh, looking like a drow than trying to make invisibility on somebody. But like I said, maybe we'll run into a a, a group outing and capture one or two of them. That would be the ideal. Let's hope. Yes, that, that would definitely be helpful. Anyway, so y'all march on. After about a half a day, she she lets y'all know that it, this is the point where you're, I would keep your eyes open for any signs of any any. Said so that usually the drows tend to watch outside of their areas their towns quite well so it is very possible that y'all could be seen so she's like oh that's not this. good well no it's not I don't like be taken by surprise which is probably why you're King Faye he's not familiar enough with the drow and how they work before just up and going at it So why don't we do this, <laughs> Grimler? I would suggest that I can walk 
We're maybe uh, a little ways ahead of y'all. Maybe if uh, Gotham wants to join me if Gotham decides to change. And we could uh, stay about uh, within eyesight, but enough distance that we would spot them. They would see us first so that they would approach us, if that makes sense. It'd be better for them to approach us and not see y'all, and y'all get surprised. Everyone gets surprised. Yeah, that sounds good. Or I can just go myself and Gotham can stand back with y'all. So you get caught sneaking. Yeah, no, we, I, I think the smaller ones go, but especially one of the sneakiest ones of us. I look over at Trouble. It is completely up to you, but if one of you isn't quiet enough, we might be in trouble. So. I mean, you can go and not get... Not yeah, but if a drow suspect you of doing something, then you'd be caught. I am a drow. I could just say yeah. from one of the other towns coming to uh, talk to them about certain things. About potential trouble heading their way. If you want to go ahead and then I'll, I'll go in behind you. It doesn't matter. I'm, I mean, I'm not small, but I'm not large either. And then just distract people at the entrance. I'll, I'll sneak in. Well, I'm not necessarily worried about the entrance right now, she says. I'm more worried about scouting parties. Like scouting through the town? Like scouting uh, around the town, making sure that no one is coming to town. That's not supposed to be. Okay. Okay. If that kind of makes sense. I have a question would I'll be able to see through magical darkness yes you mean like this and she snaps a finger and darkness envelops all of you and she walks around and touches each of you on the shoulder and makes it disappear Um, as she goes to touch my shoulder, I sort of uh, grab her hand before she, she does it um, because I am able to see through magical darkness as well. Ah, neat spell. Neat, neat. I'm glad you can, but yes, we can see through. So. Okay. This doesn't leave us with many options. No, either way, it's going to be dangerous. But. We'll make it work. Anyone like to go ahead with me? Or. You all just want to stay back? I'll go with you. I'll come with you. So, are you going to look like a drow then? Uh, not I should be able to for um, up to four hours, maybe six hours. Okay. Um, and then Joe would want to probably roll a step. Okay. So, are we mainly scoping out? places where we would be able to sneak around, or are we going to be going around and asking questions? Uh, she said she wants a few of you to walk ahead in case you run into a scouting party. Okay. Not necessarily worrying about the city right now. Oh, 22, 22 for stealth. Nice. Nice. 
I'm a sneaky little thing. And then I'll uh, cast Alter Self and make myself look like a bird. Trouble, you're good. We know you're making dinner, man. Um, cool. So the three of you kind of go ahead of the rest of the group, and they, the rest of the Grimler, um, Treble, and Bun kind of stay back, far enough back. Um, and as y'all get within probably two hours of the city, you do spot a drow company searching around. I'm going to kind of separate. I'm back, by the way, I'm just eating. So she does see the group of drow, and she tells you two just to kind of hold on. She she silently tells Jill to not move. Got them to stay kind of behind, but not to sit behind. And she walks up and starts talking to them in drow. And she kind of like puts her hand behind her back and tells everyone to kind of slowly come this way to see if y'all can get a jump on them now that they're distracted so that maybe you could take one alive. Um, how many did you say there were? Two? Uh, there's six of them. Okay, six. Yes, she's kind of got them all distracted right this minute. So, if anyone wants to try to quietly sneak up and get a attack beforehand, I will, what do I need to roll? I will allow. Well, you've already rolled stealth, so you can you can uh, sneak behind one of them and attack if you'd like. Um, uh, let's see, Gotham, you look like one of them, so you're good. But if the other three want to try to as well, or if you have ranged attacks, if you want to get close enough. If somebody can like, if somebody tall enough of the drow can just put their hand around her mouth, because I can't get up there too, because they, I mean, yeah, you can, because you're stealthing. They're talking. Oh, I'm tall enough to reach her mouth. Whose mouth? The drow. I'm gonna like bring her to the ground, like kind of like back away. Oh, yeah, no, you're not gonna get that. I'm talking like a one Uh. attack. They realize y'all are there. Oh, um. Uh, well, let's okay. say. As soon as, as soon as y'all start attacking, they're gonna know you're there. Okay. That's why I said you could kind of come up between this, by this tree if you wanted. Grab a yeah. pretty sneaky Gotham. You can put you where you want. Dr- uh, Bun and Grimler, did y'all want to try to sneak up or are y'all gonna just need to stay back? Uh, I'm gonna stay back for right now. Um, Same I'd like to try to uh, cast Charm Person on one of them. Oh, interesting. Okay. So I stealthed. Um, yes. So, so f- from <laughs> stealth, I'd like to cast Charm Person. Yeah, go for it. The three of you can all attack at the same time, and she's going to attack as well. Uh, I guess the one closest to you, we'll say. Yeah. Uh, what's the save? Um, I see it's a wisdom, but what's your save? 13. Well, damn. I know. Uh, so, attacking. Gotham and Jill, did you want to take an attack? Yeah, I'll take an attack real quick. Go for it. So you sneak up on one and take an attack. Is it with advantage? Yes. They don't know you're there. Yay, okay. Ooh, a dirty 20 for six. Gotham, go ahead. Is, do. is there any threat if I didn't look like a drow right now? Not necessarily to you, but she's probably about to make a move as well. 
So as soon as they realize that uh, Treble tried charming him and then Jill stabbed him in the back, all hell breaks loose. Okay, so hell's gonna break loose anyways. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... When I do this, my uh, culture self is gonna drop. I'm gonna cast Crown of Madness on the one right here in this corner. Mm -hmm. If I can tell me. Um, the other one. The one diagonal top right. Yeah, no. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try to cast Crown of Madness on him. Uh, that will be a wisdom save from him. The save is 14. Dang. That sucks. Yeah. This is all the words for me. Um, yeah. That's my surprise run. Um, she's gonna hit one of them. <laughs> and you hear her yell now as she stabs the one in front. It says we gotta keep one of them alive. You know what that means. Time to earn some more XP. Are you saying all initiative? Yep. I mean, you don't have to. He just wants to sit watch. It's a little bit better than my first roll. Yeah, much better. Trouble in his 23. Nothing, you rolled a 9. Yeah. I'm not proud of it either. Alright, Joe, what'd you roll? Did you? Huh? What was the roll? Initiative. Oh, I rolled a lot in my third. I'll roll it again, an 8. How do I have a plus 3.16? That makes no sense. So it does that in case people have a, a tie. Oh, okay. It, it, it factors in decks, so it automatically. Well, I got an 8, so. Roll 20 is the only thing that does that. It's kind of cool. It's about the only thing I like about 20 now. Uh, Trouble, you're up first. Okay, then I'm just gonna let loose an arrow, and hopefully in this guy's brain. In his brain? Yeah, that's gonna hit. I don't know about in the brain, but that's gonna hit. Okay, and then I'm going to make him my favorite foe. He's trial. Um, and then I'm going to also cast Hunter's Mark on him. Okay. So I'm going to go Favorite Foe, Dreadful Strikes, Hunter's Mark. Good lord. Yeah, you like pretty much one shot that thing. So yeah, you like, hit it. You hit it in the back of the head. Yeah, like I said, I was aiming for his brain, and it looks like we hit. Nice. Yeah, it went through his head. Uh, the arrow kind of started coming out his eye on the other side. And then he screams out, "Don't touch my waifu!" Wait, who's your waifu? Your object, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice.
Oh my. All right. Well then. Ah, uh, it's gonna be a couple of their turns here. They're gonna fight with their little shit. Let's hit her. They're not happy with the fact that a drow is betraying them. Like the ultimate. Oh no. actually gonna stab his buddy. But why not? You're rolling that long. Alright, fun. It is just gonna use her movement to dash. Run! And then she's gonna. No, that was her neck. Okay. Yeah, that's everything. You need to get flying across the field. I didn't realize I was that far away. Yep. Uh, so she's gonna kill the one in front of her. Attack another one. Oh, that's nice. She's gonna do some big damage, Grimler. Uh -huh. I'm gonna move and dash as well, so it'd be 50 feet forward, and then that will be the end of my turn. Y'all see Bun like run, charge toward the group, and Grimler's like, "Wait, wait for me!" Thank you, my run as well. Stop running, you're up. One more time. I really hope I don't have spell dysfunction with my crown of madness. I swear this never happened. Um, the one directly above me. Okay. Well, if you do, we're gonna give you some uh, spell Viagra. I, I, I really do need it at this time. Um, I'm gonna go for a crown of madness. It needs to make a wisdom saving throw. All right. Here we go. Hey, look, I failed. <sighs> nice. Finally, first time the spell has worked. Um, yeah, so the one that's directly above her, the one that's in the middle, um, is, uh, has a jagged crown on his head. And on his turn, I get to control who he attacks, as long as they're within five feet. Of Dang, okay. Otherwise, uh, like nobody around him or if there's one of my allies around him he'll just attack like normal nice that's it for me all right uh jill all right uh where am i at to be now you're right behind one okay I'm just gonna attack that one with some uh, good old hand axes. Okay. Four and five. Nice. It's my turn. All right. Next up is the drow that has the crown of madness on it. So uh, who's it attacking there? Um, I think it'll try to finish off the one that Jill just attacked. Is that the one in between the Drow and Jill? Yes. Okay, yeah, I'll attack that one. Uh, let's go into this. Alright, 
Yes. It stabs you for seven piercing damage. No. Travel, you're out. You got it. Um. Travel is going to let loose another arrow on this one. Wait, which one has the madness thing on cast on him? The one directly above the ground. Yep. So this one? Yeah. Okay, so then I'm gonna attack this one. Probably miss. Yeah, that's gonna miss. Okay. That is all. Alright, these two are going to attack. That's fun. Uh, so the first one is going to stab his buddy. The one with the madness is going to take eight damage. The other one is going to uh, net. Do nine damage to y'all. Fun, you are up. This is <laughs> Thing. Huh. Nope. Can't do nothing but dash to get there. Hey, you're there now. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be your drow's friend. She's gonna try to finish off the one next to Jill. <laughs> Nope. Oh my gosh. I'm doing a lot of min max rolls today. Alrighty, next up is Grimler. Uh, I'm just going to do the move and dash again. And that will, that's going to be my turn. Them. I'll use my action to keep control over Crown of Madness, but I will use my bonus action to give myself back a second level spell slot because I did make a um, slight miscalculation, and if I don't have one, I won't be able to recast Alter so that's Okay. It. That's it for me. Uh, Jill. Okay, I am going to... And the one in front of me is dead, correct? No, not quite. Okay. okay. Then I'm going to have to attack her. There's a 15 hit. Uh, yes. So that's 6 plus... That's down. No, okay. Dang it, okay. I'm down. Four, five more to go. Three more, but okay. Three more to go. Okay. You want to move up on the other one? Oh yeah, I do have movement left. That's right. Yep, I'll move up on the other one. Uh, am I gonna be flanking? Uh, you could be. Yeah, I'll, I'll be moving in flanking distance. Okay. Cool. 
That's my turn. Uh, the one with cra uh, madness. Uh, what you wanted to do there? We got the attack the other one. Yeah, attack the one. Hey, that's gonna hit. So it stabs his buddy. His buddy's kind of looking kind of pissed at it now. And he just kind of shrugs like, I, I really don't know what's going on. Travel. Alright, I'm going to move over here to get a better shot. Oof, just misses. Oh, that is it. Uh, this one is really confused and it's actually... No, oh, okay. It's gonna stab your, uh, growl friend. Uh, which one we... Huh? There's the... Yeah, I mean, there's three of them. The other one's gonna stab her. Oh, okay. And this one's gonna attempt to stab Bun. Yeah. Oh. Bun, your turn. Well, it's time to get up here. Hey! That's hits. a hit. For a whopping five points of damage. Okay, better than nothing. That's it. Nice. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, she is going to try to finish off. She does just enough to kill the madness, crown of madness. Uh, and she looks at y'all and says, keep one of them alive. Grimler, you're up. Uh, there's two, right? Yeah, the one, the one right next to Bond is not looking good. Alright, well I'm gonna go on the back side of the one next to Bond for advantage. Happens. Uh, and then I'm gonna swing my warhammer. Go for it. Well, that one's not gonna hit. Yeah, luckily you have advantage. And that one looks even worse. Yeah, that did not go. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that went my turn. Got them. Um, Gotham's, uh, a little pissed, because the one he wanted to keep alive was the one that he put the crown of madness on. Um, and on the crown, it did say Gotham's property, do not touch, but, uh, I guess she didn't read that. Um, I guess we'll just go for a chaos The first level at the end of it. The, the, the one that's closer to Jill. Okay, the one closer to Jill? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take away the spot. Dang! That's a net. So, with a net 20, should I roll 4d8s? Because it's usually 2d8. All your dice uh, double. So if you jump, you probably kill both of them. It doesn't jump, but... Well, you have to roll 48, don't you? Uh, oh, right, 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 right. So... I don't think any of them double with each other. No, they don't. Um, so that should be... Yeah, it, I'm not even adding that. That drow just freaking explodes. And she says, and then she comes up to this next drow and says, okay, 
put your water right down. <laughs> that drow immediately drops his weapon after seeing Gotham blow the crap out of out of his friend like oh heck no. Um y'all are out of combat. That's like a perfect timing for an at 20. Nice. Yeah, that was a fun one. Yeah, it would have been interesting had it jumped, because had it jumped, you probably would have killed him, but he had two HP. Oh, I forgot, I forgot to We have to keep one alive. <laughs> yeah. Grimler is like off point against the day. Um, so he drops. Anyone want to question this drow? Fun is just going to stand menacingly over him. She's trying to intimidate him to make it more likely to talk. Okay. I'm gonna ask him if he knows anything about the king that came here ten years ago with the thousand people and what happened to him and those people. He just like shakes his head no. Uh -uh. What? No, you don't know, or no, you're not talking. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. There, there, there's a human in our camp or in our town that might have information. I don't know if they're from the same place or not. Look, I, I, I just, I, I, I stay out of the town. I just make sure no one comes in. What is the human in your town called? I don't know his name. Insight. Go for it. Oh man, that's a one. Yeah, you don't trust her. You don't trust the drow. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, but you don't get a good read either. Um, the drow says, I, I don't, I don't know its name. I know it's not a king, though. I feel that it's kind of odd. You don't know anything about the town. You just tell them outside, but clearly, where do you go? You have. I know you know more than you're telling us. I'm, I'm not privileged to speak with that drow or that that human. I'm not one of the torture torturers. I literally just am on. I, I'm young. How old are you? I'm like. 22. I just I just got out of school not too long ago. And, so, uh... Sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, Trouble's gonna move up on him. <laughs> and look him dead in the eyes and say, Now you listen to me. <laughs> if you don't tell us what we want to know, I will cut your balls off and feed them to that bugbear. There's a quick look of concern on Bun's face. Could I, could I help him with that roll, actually? I like, I like look back at Trouble, and I'm trying, and I'm trying yeah, not to. Yeah, you can help him with the roll of Trouble, you know, with the man. Uh, uh, so, uh, I'm going to cast I'm going to walk up to this guy, sort of have him completely cornered. Um, I'm going to inspect his face real quick. Use Alter Self to turn, to basically just copy his face onto mine and say, I'm going to use the message as well. Point at him and say in his mind, Nobody will know that you are gone. Oh. How trouble with his role. Um. Um, with, with By the way, I for, I forgot I uh I also uh rolled a uh I get a plus uh I get to add my wisdom modifier to that because it's a charisma check so I get to add because I'm fey touched uh so it actually would have been a uh, uh wisdom plus three to that. Uh, you already had a plus three. 
No, I know that. That's my. That's for oh, my charisma. So it'd be. But I get another plus three for my wisdom. Oh I'm yeah. Tired. Well, even with with that, with Gotham coming up and doing his thing, this drow gets his own son. And he looks at you and says, "I, I really don't know the human's name. It's it's not a king. I, I don't know. I don't know." But they're torturing him in the town. That's all I know. Please, please don't kill me. If you tell us another lie, that bugbear loves balls, and she's gonna <laughs> eat yours. And he just you better start sl- speaking truths. He just kind of slowly puts both of his hands over his nuts to protect himself. And you see him just kind of start gagging and puking. Bud is trying really hard not to show concern over this line. <laughs> he like turns around to give Bun like his backside so that she can't even look at his balls. <laughs> like he turns around to see Grilmer about uh, uh, basically staring at his waist. With how tall Grilmer is. <laughs> he goes from Bun to having Grimler look right at his nuts. <laughs> oh my gosh. I do not envy this guy. <laughs> you know, he is he is gotten to have PTSD for a while and it's hard to scare Drow, but y'all managed to make him risk himself, so yeah, you can get it. <laughs> um so, anything else you want to ask this poor drow? There's only one way you're going to come out of this alive. Is if you help us the city. I can give you information, but if I get caught helping you, I will die anyways. It would be better well, for we- me to flee after you tell me what... what what you need and, and for me never to return. Well, you can flee with us. Would you rather die now, or would you rather have a chance at not dying? Honestly, I would rather die now. At least then I wouldn't be uh, killed by my fellow Jarrow. be a slow and painful death if you did now. Ah, well, either way, at least I die with some honor. The drought will never know. Bun will then lean down right next to his ear and say, oh no, they'll know. We'll drag your carcass through the town when we go. By the balls. <laughs> and then I'm going to pick up two little rocks like the size of golf balls and then I'm going to smash them with my hammer. Oh my <laughs> and god. Then, and then, <laughs> then Treble's going to look at them and say, That means your balls. <laughs> Wow, we really went hard in the testicles all of a sudden. Yeah, you did. I'm, feeling a li- I'm starting to feel a little uneasy. Jill is, and she's not even male. It's at that moment, the drow puts his sword through his own stomach. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. It says, no, I can't. I would rather die here. And he falls Remove the sword, lay on hands, bring it back to life. <laughs> I hate you, bud. Yes. Now, I'm going to take his sword. When he goes to the thing, I'm taking his sword as Bun does that. I, I was going to use healing word to try to bring him back. Oh my gosh, I should have just had it. Had him. Yes. <laughs> He'd behead himself, Lord. Once so, I say, you only I, die when we let you. I do have spells of dying as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fine, fine, fine. This is worse than death. 
Look. The little houses, don't mess with the little houses. Those are just, those are where we, we, we live. The big houses, that's where they do the torture. How many big houses are there? Uh, I mean, there, there's two main ones. Those are the ones I would look at. Two main ones. Where are they, are they in the front of the town? Uh, no, you you have to pass through the little huts first. Okay. But you think you think this was nothing compared to what you'll see in there? The those guys have been around a long time and they know how to fight. That's okay. We do too. They're not gonna be pushovers like we are. Well, it it would be fun if they were. Yeah, th uh, fun. Something Never is mind. really wrong with y'all, and I'm a drow saying that. <laughs> Never mind that. Like, y'all want to take my, my, uh, I mean, not that I'm going to use it anytime soon, because, well, uh, he's just, like, rambling now. <laughs> Wondering if he's ever going to even get to use it, or the way the drows work. Uh, <laughs> y'all have this guy, like, in a mess. And Bun is going to, once they get all the information, Bun is going to leave his earshot and then pray for forgiveness for what she just did. Okay. <laughs> Easy enough. While Treble's just laughing at the fact that the guy really thought we were going to eat his balls. He's just laughing hysterically. <laughs> as, he, as he walks away, um, says your honor's gonna be done by the time they see me wearing your face doing things that Drow wouldn't find honorable and I'll walk on like eat your balls So what's the plan going to be? Well, I thought I was going in. Well, we need to find out what the layout of the town is. Yeah. So, um, and how many guards and all that so that we can avoid as much as necessary. As much as we can. That is very, very true. Just, I, I, hmm. like I said, don't bother with the little houses. You're gonna have to fight some drow regardless. If you can get in the house, that'd be the best. I don't know which one the humans in. If you can figure that out, it might. I don't know. If you walk in the wrong house, you may alert them. So it's, it's a crapshoot, I couldn't tell you. It's a 50-50 chance you're going the wrong one. Okay. So uh, y'all make your way to the edge of town. First, we figure out which house he's in, and then once we've got that, uh, we come back and and go and have a look. Yeah. All right, so I'll come to the outskirts of town. Let me pull the map up. And this is what y'all see. Well, you can't see in the houses, but you see the houses. I 
don't see anything. Oh wait, there it is, it's floating. <laughs> I was about to say, wait, I know I pulled y'all over. I know I got wait, it this time. What's a human in it? Do what? I was gonna say, wait, which one has a human in it? <laughs> Can't say that. So this is the little town, or, or whatever? Yes. It's basically a couple really big buildings with some smaller buildings. Exactly how your captive drow explained it. And he kind of points out the bigger buildings and says, those are, those are the ones you want to look into. So can we circle the town and get to the larger buildings? Yeah, possibly. Did we want to do that? I don't think it's. Uh, I don't think it's a bad idea. I think we should do something like that. Uh, yeah, you can always try that. Are y'all trying to be stealthy, or because we all know how this? Oh, uh, stealthy. I think Gotham needs to be too stealthy, as he looks like a drow. But I can roll one anyways. Well, you, you and your drow friend would need to I'll talk about the rest of the party. Okay. Would I need to roll stealth again? If y'all want to be stealthy. But that, like I said, that's up to how y'all want to approach it. Yeah, I think we should. Yeah, being just as quiet as we can and then just avoiding as much as possible. That didn't work for me. Oh, I wasn't the worst. <laughs> I see. Alright, where do y'all want to be at? Where do you want to come into the town? So, is there like a wall around this town? Or is it just... Uh, not, not this one, no. It's just open? <laughs> yep. We said check out the big houses, right? So I guess we should yep. pick one and go for it. Absolutely. Ready? Odds, we go left. Evens, we go right. That sounds good. So, this... Left, yes. This one here? Yes. I said, what's going on? Didn't want to bring you all in at first. All right. So you're going to the one on the left? Correct. planning on busting in or what y'all doing? No. Well, since me and Decoy cannot be stealthy, do we have a choice? Probably not. Probably not. We, we could knock on the door. Good. And when they open the door, or that way we're not making the noise busting on the door. Good. <laughs> All right, let's come 
be. Very I thought we were going into the left. We are, but we're deciding how we want to go in. Well, how about... Well, if y'all can't be stealthy, y'all want to just go in the front and then, uh, is there a back entrance? Oh. There's always a back entrance. <laughs> and we always take it. Oh, well, you know, until that comment, I wanted to take the back entrance, but I'm just kidding. I'll take the back. That way y'all make all the noise up there and then whoever was stealthy can go in the back. Since y'all would cause a distraction. Heard it here first. She likes the back option. I'm, I'm going to point this out. If we're making all the noise why would you want us between the big houses and the little houses uh is the front in the between i thought the fr- i thought i'm looking at the f- back i don't know what i was looking at also there's only one entrance so. okay so that does that doesn't even matter now um, don't worry jill i'll teach you how to not confuse the front with the back it takes time but <laughs> thanks for you figure it out says the guy who uh Fell on the love, three. Three. <laughs> it's okay. I think it's trouble. Exactly is the door in this building. Uh, right there. Okay. Okay. I thought that was okay. Um, what's the side? What's that red thing on the side of it? On the side of it? Yeah. There isn't any red thing on the side of it. There's like a red box or triangle or rectangle it's a bed oh that's the inside okay yeah okay well let's see <laughs> well uh well i mean bun uh that's up to y'all how do y'all do y'all want to go first do y'all want us to go since y'all we're not sneaky i don't care Okay, so I guess we can go in first. I mean, I mean, we're quieter. Is everybody okay with that? Sure. So who's going in first? I will. I might as well since I, I got the highest AC. Do you? At 19, does anybody got higher? I got higher. Oh, Gotham, you got higher? No, he's joking. I, I look like a drow, so I could just walk it. Oh, yeah, you could. Where's my drow friend? His AC is not higher, though. <laughs> She's with y'all. Can't she go in then? I mean, she could. Let, uh, yeah, let her go in just to be like, like set the stage so they don't look vicious. Sure, she walks in. You hear her talking with them. I wish somebody had like message or something that I could ask her how many's in there. You have message? Yeah, I'll, I'll point in through the crack in the door um, and cast message and ask how many are inside. She replies with four. Okay, uh, there's four in there with her. Are they doing any, ask her if they're doing anything in there. Like, are they like busy working or are they just coming in there because she come in there? You realize every time he asks a question, he's got to cast that spell. Oh, no, I, I don't, I, no. It's, it's a cantrip, it's fine. Oh, is it? Oh. Well, cast away, my friend. I didn't think message was a cantrip. Um, I, it, I'm pretty sure it is. It's, uh. Yeah, you point your finger towards a creature, and they can only reply once every time you cast a spell. As long as it's not through magical silence, a foot of stone, one inch of common metal, a sheet of thin, a thin sheet of lead, or three foot of wood blocks. So if I'm doing through the crack in the door, it should be fine. Interesting. I for some reason thought it was a level one spell. It's not cool. 
Um, you might be thinking of sending. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, you're you're right. I am thinking of sending. Um, she replies back like, I don't. Know. Right now, everything's fine. But okay, what are they talk? Okay, well, ask for. Ask for what they're talking about because we need to know. We need to get the scope of the house if there's four of them. I mean, I don't mind just charging there now, but we. I, I don't really want to if I don't have to. There may be more we don't know. I'm not gonna ask all of that because it's limited to 25 words, but I'll, I'll send her the gist. Yeah, thank you. She replies back with, "They're all males, and I'm a female." Oh, we get the gist. Okay. Like, they're not used to females here. Yeah, we gotta probably rush in there. We can't... We can't yeah. risk anything. Okay, well, just tell her to uh, make her way somewhere safe, because we're coming in. Well, I'll, I'll quickly ask before we rush in, is the human in, in this building? He says, I don't know. Okay. Um, I'll try to think of Should we rush in? Yeah, might as well. All right, so y'all gonna rush in? Yeah. And as soon as the last person is through the door, shut the door. All right, and that's where we're gonna end it for tonight because it's almost 10 o'clock.